that one. Laurie Brake, with her daughter Isabel, drop into Runner's Choice in downtown Kingston, looking to replace her well-worn shoes in preparation for her next marathon. Right heel, the back there. Great, and if you could just stand up for me and bear some weight on that foot. So right now I'm just checking your arch length and your heel to toe length. Okay. Quarter squat down and back up. Good, okay, try to keep your feet as flat as you can. One more time, down and back up. You've got very stable arches, which is nice when we're running, but you could probably use a little bit of extra stability because your core strength was rotationally Challenge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the category that you would most likely fall into would be the neutral cushioning category. The shoe fits on a semi-curved platform so that if you draw a line from the middle of the heel to the middle of the toe, it's going to have a slight curvature to it. Um, most shoes in this category are going to have a sculpted waist here and a cutaway through the midsole to make the shoe lighter and more flexible. What they don't have is a denser, material on the midsole, on the medial side uh, for extra stability. Some people, they want something with a touch of extra support because as you fatigue, um, the stabilizers in your feet and your legs are going to start to get tired and your stability can go out the window a little bit. So you don't need a lot of extra stability, just something with good cushioning that fits well um, that will stand up to the pounding for a whole marathon distance is what you're going to be looking for. Okay. And from here, it's an issue of trying them on and finding something that really suits the shape of your foot. This shoe is designed for people who like a really plush ride and don't particularly want to feel the road at all. We want to make sure we really match the shape of your foot. You need something that's high enough in the instep so that we accommodate your arch. Ooh, they're like slippers. We also want to make sure that there's enough room in the toe box so that your toes and the bones in your forefoot can spread. And we also want to make sure that you've got some room at the end for your toes because your feet are going to swell. How did those feel? Actually, they, they felt really good, comfortable, so I'm going to take them. If the shoes really feel good and you feel like you can just run out the door in them right now, then that's a good sign. You never want to feel like you have to break in a pair of shoes. They should just be good to go right away. Sports bra is arguably as important as a pair of running shoes for a woman athlete. So you want to make sure you get something that fits well. For socks, no cotton. Cotton holds up to five or six times its weight in water. Um, so it's really good at wicking, but not good at letting that water evaporate. So you want to make sure it's a nice, light, technical sock. It'll help cut down on blisters. We've also got skorts, which are combination skirts and shorts for running. Uh, technical fabrics, cool and dry, but they've also got a built-in short tight for modesty's sake. And I hear they're cute. <laughs> okay. All right, well, thank you very much. Uh, Great. Good luck with the rest of your training. I look forward to trying them out. Thanks a lot.